Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. James out of here and happy Easter. Oh no, the mystery tap box has returned. So that only means one thing. I guess we'll just have to go ahead and look at it. Now we have a slight technical problem. <laughs> Something is a little bit too big for the box. So we'll probably go ahead and pick that one first. Dun, 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 dun. This is an Easter tree, eggs sold separately. Spoiler alert, I don't think I've got eggs. So it's basically like a set of sparkly twigs. Now, I'm not sure if Easter trees are actually a thing. I think they might be, but they're not like the most well-known thing in the world. I have absolutely no idea if they actually look like this though. So <laughs> let me know in the comments if you have an Easter tree which is made out of twigs. Decoration. This is a decoration and not a toy. Somehow it's managed to leak glitter, even though I haven't even got out the box yet. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Just got a bit of tape beneath the side. So let's get this thing out. How to do this without breaking it. Oh, there we go. Shush. There's glitter everywhere. Yeah, it's like a set of very sparkly twigs. And you can get these in different colours. I can't remember what colours they actually were, but look at that. Anyway, so I'm guessing a bit like a Christmas tree, you put baubles or something on it, I don't know. It mentions something about eggs that are not included. I don't have any eggs, so I'm not going to use real eggs. <laughs> That's a bit dangerous. Well, one thing that is good about this, apart from the fact that it's got glitter everywhere, is the fact that it has a very nice weighted base. It looks very nice. It has a nice little bow around it, so what more could you want? I'm going to put this down here for now, and it can think about it itself. So next up we have... I lied. We do have eggs. Before you ask, I don't think I can decorate the tree with these. Inside here we have precisely eight eggs. We'll make sure we count that up. Um, nothing, well, there's a lot on the package, but I'm not reading all that out. So, uh, anything interesting? It does have 30 grams of fat. That's about 100 grams. Who cares? Good egg. Here we have it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. Way well, hey, we didn't get ripped off. Let's go ahead and start off with the blue egg. I don't think these are like Kinders, which have little <laughs> surprises inside. I think it's just a hollow chocolate egg, but we'll soon find out. Mm. Very, very faint chocolate. Like, it barely tastes like chocolate. Not bad, but not something you're going to go, wow, you must try one of these magical eggs. It, yeah, it's all right. It's kind of what you expect. It's like very cheap milk chocolate. They're good fun. And plus, at least they're bigger than mini eggs. And what on earth am I going to do with these without breaking them all? I'm going to place these eggs down here. Next up in the magical, mysterious tap box we have... Oh, well, we have more chocolate. See, I don't plan this. <laughs> Peter... Wow, this is actual Peter Rabbit. So I think there was a Peter Rabbit film. I haven't seen it, so I don't know if it's any good or not. If you have, let me know in the comments. I'm guessing... This may be exactly like those milk chocolate hollow egg things, but in a rabbit form. Or it might be higher quality, I don't know. What I do know is it has 33 grams of fat per 100 grams. Well, hey. So we'll have to see whether the chocolate inside looks like the Peter Rabbit. I can't remember what I had before. Oh, it was Elf on the Shelf, wasn't it? And it had an elf, and the actual elf didn't have any face. <laughs> Very odd. So let's see if this rabbit has a face. That would be nice. Okay, so, Ooh. oh, okay, it's got, it's got some uh, fur on it, look at that, wow, okay, it's oh, okay, we're slightly, slightly damaged, that might be my fault, it probably was my fault, oh, wow, that is much better, that is tons better than the elf on the shelf, not to insult the elf on the shelf, but this actually has a face, yeah, the only downside to this chocolate, I can feel it melting right now on my hand, it's like that chocolate that melts really quickly, so, the more I hold it, the more chocolate I'm going to have all over my hands. I think this is going to be a bit more messy. Hey, it's the food tray. Wow, it looks massive on the camera. Okay, so let's see if we can try and break this up in a non-studio destroying way. Okay, let's try this bit. I don't know how they've done it, but they've made chocolate taste even less chocolatey 
than those eggs. I mean, it's all right, but it literally hardly tastes of anything. This is, this is probably too disturbing for YouTube. So, sorry, Mr. Peter Rabbit, I didn't mean for this to happen. It's not gonna stop me from eating it, but that is boring tasting chocolate, I've got to say. If you're giving it to a kid, they probably wouldn't care, to be perfectly honest. But at least the molding on it was a lot better. At least it actually had a face. And, fun fact, it was actually 50p, even cheaper than a pound. What more could you want? Next up in the magical mysterious tap box we have... So this is definitely not chocolate, this is a pullback racer. Also it doesn't weigh hardly anything, it literally is the lightest thing in the world. Let's see how fast this pullback racer can actually go. Oh it does have Stuart... <coughs> wow I just... did you hear that? <laughs> I just did the most peculiar burp in the universe. It does have Stuart Ashen's favourite sad onion, so that's quality. Mm, let's have a look. Is it as cheap as I thought it was? Absolutely. This is like really, 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 really thin plastic. Like, I'm not complaining. If it means it goes faster, then who actually cares? The moulding on it is actually quite nice, though. It's actually quite nicely moulded. So you have a rabbit speeding along in a carrot. And just look at his face. It is so happy. That is the happiest looking rabbit I've actually ever seen. Also, I love how his ears are going straight back, like, whoa, it's going 200 miles an hour. Wow, that's the first time I've actually ever seen that. Wait a minute, this is too important to miss. Made in China, produced by Poundland Limited. I've never seen that before. Like, everything else, like even the packaging, I think, says copyright Easter, which is very bizarre. Does this move? Oh, it does move. The head does actually turn around. So we can look where it's going. So let's see how fast this pullback racer can go. Yeah, that didn't go very quick, did it? Let's go all the way. Okay, I think this is about as far as the pullback motor can go. Three, two, one. Okay, that was a bit better. It wasn't really that fast, but it was definitely better than before. I have absolutely no idea where it's gone. That's the pullback racer. What's next in the magical mysterious tag box? Oh wow, we have a pinball game. Now, this is literally like one of those, not a McDonald's toy, uh, there might have been a McDonald's toy like this. I don't know what this reminds me of, but it definitely reminds me of something. I'm not sure if I've actually ever played something like this before though. I probably have when I was little. On the back, nothing that exciting. Let's open it up. Oh, oh, okay. I literally didn't even realise. I thought that was see-through. <laughs> I thought that was part of the packaging. So this is actually more eastery than I thought. We managed to get 200 points. Hooray! Oh, I know, I know. Wait a minute, I'm doing it wrong, I know. Yeah, you kind of put them in here. Yeah, there you go, there you go. This is very light, by the way. I feel like it's just like a bit of plastic with a bit of cardboard. Three, two, one. Oh, hey, so we got 400 points. Okay, that's cool. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wow, this is so flimsy. Uh, ah, no points. I don't, how much balls do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So I'll go five times. Oh, I've broken it. No, no, that wasn't good. No, no points. Number three. No points. <laughs> Number four. Oh, we got 20 points away. Hopefully you can see this. This is probably going out of shot. But no, nothing. I've lost count of how much times we've gone now. Do you know what? I think this will be the fifth one. If it isn't. Oh, aye, nice one just to finish off. 200 points. So, yeah, that's the whole idea. So how much points have we got in total? 200, 420. So we've got 620 points. Woohoo! So apart from the fact that this feels really, really flimsy, it's not a bad game. It's actually quite good fun. What's next in the Magical Mysterious Tech Box? Oh, well. <laughs> we have some chicks and there's one who's had slightly too much to drink oh, so it all opens up at the side fair enough really so we have four so we have six different chicks let's see if we can try and get one out of the packet oh here we go hey 
So they just kind of slide out the packet like so. Some of them are quite difficult to get out of the packet. But here are the chicks. Apologies, my camera didn't record. This one is Fred. Fred is a pizza addict. If you and also cannot stand up. This is Bella, and Bella is a librarian, so anything book related, awesome. Next up we have Marcus. Marcus is a gamer and he gets very angry very quickly. He calls people noobs online. This is Sandra. Sandra is a mathematician, so if you need to know 10 plus 10, ask her. We have Reginald. Reginald loves antiques. Last but not least we have Charlie, and Charlie is another gamer but prefers to play games that you've never heard of they are the clever chicks so next up we have is this the last thing in the box oh no it's not there was so much in the magical mysterious tap box today we've really outdone ourselves so if you like mini eggs this is the terry's orange version of mini eggs so i'm guessing they're the same kind of sugar coated eggs but they should have like an orange flavour to them. Otherwise I would be very disappointed because pretty much everything Terry's orange is orange. It's described here as mini eggs with a crispy shell. So with real orange oil. Mm, very fancy. So this is official Terry's, so I've got high expectations. Oh, oh wow, they're, they're actually red. These are Terry's orange eggs. However, these are red. <laughs> Unless they're just very dark orange, but if you ask me what colour these were, I would say they're probably red. Let's see if they actually taste like Terry's Orange. Wow, okay, they actually do taste like Terry's Orange. No complaints there. They are even orange on the packet. I mean, come on. So they're the Terry's Orange Red Eggs. There's also a strange mutant one somewhere. Where's it gone? That one. <laughs> dun, dun. I mean, they taste really nice. They've got exactly the same texture as Cadbury's Mini Eggs, but literally tastes like Terry's Orange. So if you like Terry's Orange, you should be in luck. Hmm, very nice. I could eat the whole bag, but I'm not going to. So what's next in the Magical Mysterious Tap Box? Oh wow, we have even more animals. So, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do a life story for each of these. These are 12. Wow, that is value for you. I think we only had eight or, I can't remember how much chicks we had. We had not 12, that was for sure. So yeah, this is value for money. How on earth do you get these out of the packet? Are these also stuck? Do they have little feet? Oh, they do have little feet. Oh, fair enough. Um, how do they actually come out of the packet? That's the question. I think these just peel off. This doesn't seem right. But I guess it is. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are literally glued to this bit of card. So that's what we're going to have to do. Just peel them off the card. Okay, these ones are actually glued to each other so we're just going to keep them like that they're actually identical twins much like the chicks these are made out of sort of pom-pom things and have felt ears so this this is bob and rob these are identical twins they love scrabble we have this one which is kind of attached to this one and they are both in a relationship which is why they're kind of stuck together with glue <laughs> uh, this is um, Mary and what's it? I don't know why he's called what's it, but he loves the crisps. Okay, <laughs> so we have all these rabbits. Go and speak to the chicks. What's next in the magical mysterious tap box? <gasps> and we have some sheep. I love how all these animals have slightly different ways of opening the packet. Now, how do these come off? Hopefully a little bit more nicer than the rabbits. Um. Well, if that's what you think nice is, then yeah. Loads of sticky glue stuff. And also this one has its feet sort of torn off a little bit, but we won't worry about that. These animals remind me of like Blue Peter or something, where you have to sort of make your own DIY thingamabobs. You might want to remove all the bits of glue that's from the bottom of these, but that is a chilled out face if I've seen one. So the idea behind this is that I'm going to be decorating the tree. So do these actually stay in the tree? Kind of. No. <laughs> okay, this might be easier said than done.
If you like this video, smash that like button. If you want any more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and ding. So you don't miss a thing. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Follow me at TechBaffle. For all latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.